Oh, yeah. So excited to try that one, VC3. Oh, yeah. And there's a couple in this hand here that I haven't used before. Jimbo's and the Grios haven't. We already know what Mr. Titan can do here. It's a great one. But I'm going to bring you over here on the white Lexus. It's return day. Uh, just going to put a little bit of a slicker fire agent over this car. We put Glossom on it last week. Um, and I just want to see what these are like putting them on in direct sun. It's not super hot today, but eh, it's almost noon. I'm guessing we're probably... How hot is it right now, you think? She said she don't know. Nice breeze, but it's hot. That paint was actually hot. So I'm guessing we're already... I don't want to misspeak. I could be really wrong. Let's get out of here. What do you think it is? That breeze, if it weren't for that breeze, it'd be hot. I'm going to say we're pushing 80. Huh? I think we're 75, 80 already. Maybe even 85. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's not that hot. It's a white car. I'm just going to grab some towels and put these on the hood and... Uh, it's my first use of BC2, or BC3, I'm sorry. First use of Jimbo's and first use of Griot's ceramic um, speed shine. Oh, it's 82, my wife says. Wow, she, thank you for that narrator. 82. I heard this right here, honestly. Five people. Coming up the <laughs> She's giving the update. Keep going. They're interested. 31% humidity. 31% humidity. Five, uh, five mile an hour wind out of the northwest, you said? Yeah. Uh-huh, 82. So, hey, I was close. <laughs> Thank you, uh, weather prognosticator Tiffany. I appreciate that. Sunset, 7.04. Uh, it's going <laughs> to sunset at 7.04. We got about seven hours and five minutes. Let's get it. All right, let's just do the grills first. Uh, the great thing about this one, retail, baby. You can get that at O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Don't be shy. Just grab some. I heard, anyway, I heard this was like the glossiest topper. Uh, people being actually honest and unbiased say this is the glossiest topper they've ever used. So I know there's a lot of people out there that have their opinion, but for a retail product, if this was voted glossiest, a couple guys I talked to, I mean, it's worth a try, right? Anyway, see how it goes on. I heard it could be finicky in the sun. We're going to find out. Kind of feels grabby right there, like it's thick or something. But that does feel nice under the towel. Dude. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Well, that was nice. It's kind of slick to the touch, but I don't know if it has a cure time or not. That was easy, actually, in direct sun. But on white, white is very forgiving. I don't know if you can see any streaking or anything. Never mind the spider webbing or the, the love marks or whatever. Um, this car was not corrected, just protected. We've been through this. Not corrected, just protected. All right, let's go to Jimbo's. Put Jimbo's right beside it and see how this goes. This is tough as shell. In case you haven't seen the bottle. That's it right there. I've heard great things in direct sun with this product. I just want to see what would be easiest and then cost effective wise, but availability obviously is going to be Grios. You can get that at O'Reilly's or AutoZone. Maybe even Target or Walmart, even. I mean, I don't know. Nice. Not as grabby under the towel initially as the Grios, or as some of you guys like to say, Grits. It's Griot's, just saying, just saying. That was easy too. Can't really tell much of a difference right now. Gloss wise, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell anything on white. <sighs> Bad part with white and the good part with white. It's like if you get that glossy enough, it just blinds you and you can't see even the towel marks in it. So a little bit of that there to it as well. Just get her as glossed up as you can get it, baby. It's be all right. All right, let's move on now to super stoked on this one. BC3 Apex Surface Protection. Thank you, Rick. Been wanting to try this for a while now, so thank you, Rick. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. This one also, 
I've heard will gloss it up really good. But you have to mail order all of these except uh, the Griots. So I think Griots is gonna win the deal and win the day just because it's convenient you can get it anywhere, yeah? Yeah. This one feels a little bit like the Griot's under the towel at first, but it's already slickered up. Yeah, nice. Wow, it's really nice under the towel. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. I may have to ask our weather forecaster to come and rub a towel on them. She probably won't though. She just likes giving weather. <coughs> Last and not least is the Phoenix EOD Titan. It's an awesome product. No hate here. So I'm going to give this one worst trigger, best smell out of all of these. Okay, Aaron, worst trigger. Yeah, I've already busted his hump on that before. Best smell out of all of these. Gives great gloss on white. This was my favorite product on white. But starting to wonder if it's going to get beat by one of these other ones. It'll be hard to tell I don't have a gloss meter. So, six of one, half a dozen of another. Let's go like that. Go like that. Smells good. Which means nothing, but. Trigger. Don't even get me started. It's terrible. Aaron and I talk about triggers all the time. He's like, duh, we're only third year, dude. I'm like, I know, I know. We're going to deal with Griots and get those triggers. Those are the best triggers in the industry, period, over there. And I think those are Tolkos. Tolkos. So, yeah, you're not going to tell anything with just looking at it. I don't know. You can't tell anything. Let's see if we can do some kind of a glide test here. I doubt this is going to matter to anybody out there. You'd have to really feel it. So, just gonna throw down a cheapy microfiber and just see. Hmm. I don't know. That means nothing to me. Nah. Ooh, that was slick. That's Jimbo's. Holy crap. Hmm. Very awkward. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a hard call. I'm thinking just because it's convenient and easy to get anywhere. I'm going to have to give the dub and the love to the Griots just for the simplicity. Uh, the gloss on all of these, again, without a meter, you're not going to know. And all I'm going to hear from the detailers is, look at all those towel marks. Yeah. Protected, not corrected. I don't know, guys. Dude, that is so hard. You're actually just splitting hairs now. But you're going to have to look at... Huh? Yeah, I gotta stop now. I think that's good. The moderator said I've overdone it. I'm, I'm pressing it too hard, so. Um, all good products. Uh, I have to just see it on this car in a couple of days. I'm gonna do different panels with them and just see in a couple of days, maybe a month or a week, how they're holding up or what they look like, but man, that's a hard one. I'm gonna say just give it to Griots, but what do you know? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Here's the uh, side by side by side by side today. All good products. They all look great. They're all slick. Uh, Durability-wise, I think the Griots would be the best. You're going to get six months out of that one. Maybe five months and down. Whatever. Hey, aren't you reading a book over yonder? Hey. Yeah. I got to go. I'm getting the moderator peeping in, and I don't edit, so I got to just publish this, and it's just going to be what it is. Take her easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. What do you think is the best out of those four? Yeah, I did four, right? Four? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Peace.